All right, guys. It's uh, Sunday morning. Fight was last night. Um, fight ended how I expected, but not how I predicted. I predicted 10th, 11th round knockout for Javante Tank Davis, and the fight ended a couple rounds sooner. I uh, wanted to get on here and give my honest feedback and reactions. First of all, shout out to both guys. Shout out to Tank for a mm, decent performance, but getting the win and doing it in an impressive fashion. Very, very sneaky uppercut and then ending him with the left hand. And got to give Frank Martin credit. He did better than a lot of people thought. He made the rounds very interesting in the early part before tiring out. And that had a lot to do with what Tank was doing. Um, so credit to both guys. Good fight. Hope both guys are uh, able to walk away and make a good amount of money and take care of their families. So that's the first thing. Uh, my reaction to the fight itself. My reaction to the fight itself is, uh, man, Tank Tank is ready to finally fight some decent competition. And I mean this respectfully. It's time for Tank to step up. Um, I'm not saying this to get Tank beat or anything like that. It's just you could tell when that fight was going on, you were waiting for it to end the way it did. Tank lulled Frank into a false sense of security from rounds one all the way up until the end of it. Walking him down basically from the first round, letting Frank touch him. You could tell the shots weren't bothering him. You could tell. It never stopped the pressure. And whenever he can get close enough, he would faint just to see Frank's reaction. Frank, Frank a lot of times would be too respectful. And as the, I'd say the tail end of the third or fourth round really started coming to a close, you could really see the body shots that Tank was throwing were starting to have an effect because Frank's legs began to slow down gradually. He stopped moving as much. And even though he was peppering and popping that jab and throwing the occasional catch and shoot, it was just a matter of time and he felt it coming. Uh, one thing Frank did that I saw he was advised not to do in the corner and it just kept happening. He consistently kept his back to the ropes. And it's one thing to put your back to the ropes, but you have to turn out. I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything Frank doesn't know, but you have to turn out. You have to keep your hands up and you got to learn how to clinch and move. You have to, you have to create some separation so that this guy does not tee off on you. Now, even though I feel like uh, Tank wasn't hurting him too much against the ropes up until the finish, the problem is the judges and the crowd get swayed when you sit there and let a guy tee off on you. Even if the hands are up and you're catching punches and you're ducking, the wailing away um, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. So all that being said, um, the Tank Davis that we got last night, that was maybe a B, I'd say a B level performance. I would say C, but I'm gonna give him a B because the up B and then the left hand was phenomenal. And that is how you knock a guy out. But Tank has so much more in his bag that he did not need to use. He just didn't need to use it. And that's partially because he set a game plan and stuck to it. I'm gonna tire this guy out. Most of us that watch Frank Martin know that he can be a volume puncher at times, and he's a stepper. He wants to come forward. Um, he tried to play a boxing game, but I think he realized that, man, this is a lot different trying to keep this guy off of you. And when you're overly cautious about the power, and let's just be honest, this was Frank's first fight in this stage, so I'm sure he had nerves going into it as well. All of this is draining. You looked at the weigh-in. I don't personally feel he was drained, but he could have been very well fatigued from that as well. All of this am amounts to what you got. And uh, Frank should not feel bad about this. Um, hopefully he'll go back, he'll learn from it, he'll get better. I think he could still be a world champion, but Tank is gonna be a tough out for anybody who does not have the conditioning to last 12 to 15. And I know they don't fight 15, but you have to have the conditioning to last up to 15 rounds, moving, jabbing, tying him up, and being cautious of the power. So good fight. Uh, shout out to both guys for that performance. Uh, look forward to seeing what Tank does next. Hopefully we get the Loma fight. I would pick Tank Davis to beat Lomachenko. Uh, but I do think that's a very, very competitive fight, especially in the early going. So hopefully we get that fight soon. And for Frank, who knows what's next? Maybe he gets a world title fight um, and a couple scraps. Get your confidence back. You know, do what you got to do. And then hopefully you can get back on that stage. I think he is made for it. I think Frank Martin has the charisma. I think he's funny enough. And I think he, he, he showed um, casual fans that, yeah, he's got some dog in him. But... We'll see. 
Uh, but let me get, let me know what you guys think about the fight. Leave your reactions down below. And uh, what do you guys want to see next for, for Tank Davis? Let me know. I'll let your boy.